Hi, my name is Teresa. I'm glad you're here today. We're going to be doing some fun games with words. Today, I need you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil, a crayon, a marker, anything you can find that you can write on. Write on and write with. So even if you have a half a sheet of paper or there's writing on the back, that's totally fine. I just need a little room for you to write some things. Okay, great. So we're going to be reading words today and then we're going to be writing those words. And all those words and all this work is going to really help us when we read the book up. Okay, so today put that thinking cap on, tie it tight, make sure you have those listening ears ready. And remember, when I ask you a question or pull my hair back so that you can see my ear, that means I want you to give me an answer or tell me a sentence or maybe even read a word to me the best that you can. Okay? So just try your best. All this work is really going to help you learn to read. Okay? Great. Now, let's get started. I'm going to hold up a word. I want you to read this word to me the best you can. This is the first word. Can you read this word to me? Great job. Now, let's try to work through reading this word. The first sound is what? Great. If you said ah, eh, you were right. Ah eh is the first sound. We're going to take that first sound and we're going to blend it with the next sound. So we would say ah, eh, and what's that sound? If you said t, you were right. We would say ah, eh, t, and we would make the whole word. Ready? Ah, eh, t. The word is If you said at, you were right. The word is at. So what does at mean? Or can you use the word at in a sentence? Well, if I were going to say at, I would say I am at home. Here in the bedroom, I am at home. At. Where I'm at. So where are you at? See if you can use at in a sentence. Great job. Now, we read the word at. So I want you to grab that piece of paper and I'm going to show you what you're going to try. So on your piece of paper, take your pencil or your crayon or your marker and you're going to write the word at. And as you write the word, the most important thing is I want you to say the sounds as you write it. So watch me. I'm going to say at. See, that wasn't so hard. Now I want you to try it. Ready? Say the sounds as you write them. Here we go. And what's the word? Great job. I am at home. Very good. At. Great. Now let's do another word. You are doing fantastic. I'm going to give you a word that's a little bit harder because you did so well. This is our new word. I want you to try to read that word. Okay, let's see if you got it right. What's the first sound in this word? Did you say b? If you said b, you were right. What's the next sound? If you said, uh, you were right again. So let's put those two sounds together. We have b, uh, b, uh. Now blend those two sounds together. Let me hear you. If you said, buh, you were right, buh is what those two sounds say. Now we're going to add the last sound. We have buh. And now we're going to add that sound. What is that last sound? If you said g, you were right. G is the last sound. So we have b, g, b, g. Put those sounds together. B, 
Pak. What's our word? Did you say bug? If you said bug, you were absolutely right. Bug is our word. Now, what is a bug? I bet you know what a bug is. I bet you've seen a bug. If you look behind me, I have a bug basket. And this is where my daughter likes to collect bugs. And if you look inside, you can see a couple little bugs. These bugs are outside at our house a lot, especially when it's been raining. And look, this big bug is sitting on my little pot outside. Can you see the bug? It's a big beetle. Look at him. Do you have any bugs at your house? Can you use the word bug whoops, in a sentence? If I used bug in a sentence, I would say something like, the bug just fell down into the pot. Great job. Now, let's see if you can write the word bug. I'm showing it to you again. I want you to take your piece of paper and I want you to write the word bug as you say each sound. And then I want you to tell me the whole word. I'm listening. Each sound and then say the word. Great job. Now, I'm going to do it with you, okay? So let's see if this is what you did. B, a, g, bug. Did you say bug? Did you get those sounds right? Awesome job. Okay, let's do another one. You are doing fantastic. Here you go. Let's see if you can read this word. Is that thinking cap on? Okay. See if you can read this to me. Did you get it? Let's see if you got it right. What is the first sound? Did you say g? G. If you said g, you were right. Now let's put it with the second sound. What is that second sound? Did you say uh? If you said uh, you were right. So let's put G, uh, together. G, uh, g, uh, g, uh. What are those two sounds together? If you said g, you were right. Now let's add that last sound. We've got g. Did you say m? If you said m, you were right. That's the last sound. So let's put it all together. Gum, gum, gum. What's the word? Did you say gum? If you said gum, you were absolutely right. Good reading. Now, what is gum? This is another word I bet you know. Back on my shelf, I usually keep a pack of gum. This is my gum. So my favorite gum is this fruity gum. And I usually just tear off half a piece and chew that half piece of sugarless bubble gum. Mmm. Oh, I love this flavor. That's my favorite gum. That's my sentence. What would you say for your sentence for gum? Good job. Good job with your sentence. Now, it's your turn to write. This is our word gum. I want you to write the word and say the sounds as you write them. Go ahead. Did you do it? Did you say each sound? Okay, let's see if you got it right. Hold my paper again. Okay, 
Here we go. Do this with me. Ready? G, uh, mm, gum. I love gum. Great job today, everyone. You did fantastic. We read three words. We read at, I am at my house. We read bug, the bug fell down into the pot. And we read gum, I love gum. Great job with all those words. And now you have three new words you could take and you could read to somebody in your house. Bug, at, gum. Great job. All those words are going to help us when we're reading the book up. So I hope you join me next time and we'll play some more word games. You did fantastic today. Thanks and have a good day. Bye-bye.